The 300,000-year-old bones found in this mine shake the foundations of human history to the core. On a remote hillside at the edge of the Sahara Desert, a team of archaeologists are exploring the depths of an abandoned mine. For more than 50 years, discoveries at the site have challenged our understanding of when humans first walked the Earth. Now researchers have made a discovery that will turn what we think we know about human evolution upside down. For years, the exact details of how humans ended up populating the planet have been the cause of much debate. However, over the past two decades, it seemed that scientists are finally coming closer to a consensus. Using both fossil records and genetic data, they've reached some intriguing conclusions. According to scientists' research, humans first emerged around 200,000 years ago in eastern Africa. From this region, often dubbed the Garden of Eden, they were thought to have spread out and populated the world. However, recent excavations in Morocco have cast doubt on that theory and turned the science of evolution on its head. Back in 1960, miners searching for minerals began digging in the Moroccan desert near Sidi Mokhtar, close to Makaresh. After they'd been working there for a year, moreover, they stumbled across a human skull embedded in a cave wall. Intrigued, the miner who made the discovery removed the skull and gave it to a doctor working at the site. Eventually, the skull made its way to the University of Rabat, where it came into the hands of a professor. And as the academic studied the ancient object, he realized that humans had inhabited the site, known as Jebel Irud, for a long time. The following year, Emile Anucci, a researcher from France, led a joint French-Moroccan investigation of Jebel Irud. There, his team discovered the remains of 30 different animals, some dating back hundreds of thousands of years. Over the ensuing years, a number of further expeditions visited Jebel Arud and carried out excavations at the site. Moreover, it wasn't just animal bones that the researchers found. Soon, in fact, they were unearthing human remains along with an assortment of stone tools. At the time, archaeologists thought that the tools marked the inhabitants of Jebel Arud out as Neanderthals. The skulls found at the site gave apparent weight to this theory too, for they seemed to be primitive features. And based on these assumptions, scientists believed that the remains dated from approximately 40,000 years ago. But that wasn't the end of the story. Two decades later, Jean-Jacques Hublin, a paleoanthropologist at the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology in Leipzig, Germany, became interested in Jebel Arud. Apparently, Hublin felt that the remains had been inaccurately dated. Hoping to uncover the truth then, he made several visits to the site throughout the 1980s and 1990s. Finally, in 2004, Hublin began his own excavations, and over the course of several years, his team recovered an additional 16 human bodies. When these remains were combined with the six specimens previously retrieved from the site, Hublin and his team were able to study and catalog more than 20 separate fossils. Scientists believe that the 22 bones came from five different humans, a child, a teenager, and three young adults. Among the remains were a lower jawbone, a skull that still retained pieces of facial bone, and a number of teeth. At first, there appeared to be nothing particularly significant about Hublin's finds, as well as the human bones. The team also discovered stone artifacts thought to date from the Middle Stone Age. However, when the researchers found some old pieces of burnt flint at the site, they came to a far more astonishing conclusion. Using a process known as thermoluminescence, which analyzes the light emitted by heated materials, archaeologists were able to estimate the age of the flints to be around 300,000 years. Furthermore, because they were found buried alongside the artifacts, the human remains could also be dated to a similar period. This process revealed an astonishing apparent truth. The remains found at Jebel Arud are the oldest examples of Homo sapien bones ever discovered. And because they're substantially older than any specimens previously studied, they forced scientists to reconsider everything they believed about human evolution. That was a big wow, Hublin said in a June 2017 interview with the LA Times. The new dates convinced us that this material represents the very root of our species. Furthermore, in two papers published in June 2017, Hublin and his colleagues detailed the incredible significance of their finds. Speaking about how these discoveries could change the accepted view of human evolution, Hublin explained, our results challenge this picture in a number of ways. There is no Garden of Eden in Africa, or if there is a Garden of Eden, it's Africa. The Garden of Eden is the size of Africa. Because scientists had previously believed that humans originated in eastern Africa and migrated from there, 
Hublin's discovery of incredibly ancient bones on the other side of the continent threw these theories into disarray. What's more, it wasn't the only revelation that he had to share. According to the papers, the human remains found at Jebel Arud also displayed some unusual characteristics. Although the faces of the people they belonged to would have been similar to those of modern humans, Hublin noted that their brains would have been larger and more primitive. Intriguingly, these finds seem to suggest that different aspects of human biology may have evolved at different speeds. In short, Hublin continued, the story of our evolution over the past 300,000 years is mostly the evolution of our brains. Yet, although Hublin's papers have caused excitement within the scientific community, some feel there's not yet enough evidence to definitively tie the remains to Homo sapiens. Hublin, on the other hand, believes that his findings prove humans were already widely dispersed in Africa 300,000 years ago. And whatever the truth turns out to be, there's no doubt that these discoveries will fascinate scientists for many years to come.